The Mysteries of the Mariana Trench Who Lives at the Bottom of the Ocean? The Mariana Trench is one of the most mysterious places on Earth, located in the western Pacific Ocean near the Mariana Islands. This deep-sea trench is the deepest part of the ocean, reaching a depth of 36,000 feet. It is home to some of the most fascinating and unknown creatures on the planet. From strange fish with no eyes to mysterious squids, there is still much to discover about the creatures living at the bottom of the Mariana Trench. In this video, we will explore the mysteries of the Mariana Trench and answer the question, who lives at the bottom of the ocean? So watch the video till the end. Hi, you are watching Minifacts YouTube channel. Before proceeding further, please like and subscribe our channel to encourage us. What is the Mariana Trench? The Mariana Trench is a deep oceanic trench located in the Western Pacific Ocean. It is the deepest known point on Earth, reaching depths of nearly 11 kilometers below sea level. The trench is named after the nearby Mariana Islands and was first discovered by English explorer and naval officer John Moresby in 1875. It stretches for 2,500 kilometers along the edge of the Pacific Plate and has been described as the deepest, darkest, and most mysterious place on Earth. Due to its extreme depths, much of the trench remains unexplored by humans. As such, it is home to some of the planet's most unique and rare species, many of which have yet to be discovered. What kinds of creatures live in the Mariana Trench? The Mariana Trench is one of the most mysterious and unexplored places on the planet, so it's no surprise that many creatures have yet to be discovered. The deepest part of the trench, Challenger Deep, is over 11,000 meters deep, so the creatures that live there have had to adapt to incredibly harsh conditions. Some of the known species that call this area home include amphipods, shrimp-like crustaceans, jellyfish, and sea cucumbers. There are even some eel-like fish called rat tails that have been found living near the bottom of the trench. These creatures have to cope with extreme pressure, darkness, and a lack of food. To survive in this environment, they often use bioluminescence to attract prey. Many of them also take advantage of the thermal vents that occur in the trench, which provide warmth and energy in an otherwise cold and nutrient-poor environment. Despite their adaptations, life in the Mariana Trench is still difficult for these creatures. For example, due to the extreme pressure, some animals may not be able to reach the surface for mating or other purposes. As a result, many species are limited in their range and can only survive in these extreme depths. Additionally, pollution from human activities, such as fishing and mining, can harm some of these fragile species. In fact, certain areas of the Mariana Trench have been classified as dead zones due to high levels of pollutants. These dead zones can make it more difficult for certain organisms to find food and reproduce, resulting in fewer overall numbers. Fortunately, organizations such as the International Maritime Organization and MO, are taking steps to protect these creatures by establishing regulations that limit human activity in certain parts of the ocean. It is our responsibility to do all we can to ensure that these unique and amazing species remain safe in the future. How do these creatures survive in such an extreme environment? With depths of up to 11,000 meters, 6.8 miles, and pressure at the bottom can reach 1,000 times the found at sea level. The temperatures are cold with an average of around 4 degrees Celsius, 39 degrees Fahrenheit. Despite these harsh conditions, many species of creatures live in the Mariana Trench. The creatures that inhabit the Mariana Trench have adapted to cope with the pressure, darkness, and cold temperatures. Many of them have developed special organs or unique body shapes that help them to survive. For example, some deep sea fish have a swim bladder filled with oil that helps them maintain buoyancy and move around easily in the deep water. Other species, such as vampire squid and giant isopods, have developed antifreeze molecules in their cells that enable them to survive the extreme cold. To survive in the dark depths of the trench, many species have also adapted their senses to make the best use of minimal light. Many deep sea fish, for example, have large eyes that help them detect small amounts of light. Some species also have luminescent organs that they can use to create their own light. 
In addition to physical adaptations, some species are able to live in the Mariana Trench by forming complex symbiotic relationships with other organisms. For example, some deep-sea crabs will attach themselves to whale carcasses and feed off their rotting flesh. This relationship gives both organisms a source of food and shelter in a harsh environment. Overall, the creatures of the Mariana Trench have evolved unique strategies to survive in one of the world's most extreme habitats. By studying their remarkable adaptations, scientists are better able to understand how life is able to persist even in the harshest conditions. What impact does human activity have on the creatures of the Mariana Trench? The deep, dark Mariana Trench may seem isolated from the rest of the world, but human activities have a major impact on the creatures that live there. Pollution from ships and plastic waste are some of the biggest threats facing the animals of the Mariana Trench. Plastic in particular can be deadly for many creatures that inhabit this area, as they can easily become entangled or ingested. Furthermore, the noise pollution from ships can interfere with animals' ability to communicate and hunt for food. Oil spills are also a huge threat to the creatures of the Mariana Trench. Oil has been found on the seafloor in this area, which is devastating for these creatures and their habitats. Oil coats the gills of marine life and clogs up the organs of deep-sea creatures, making it difficult for them to survive. Climate change is also a major concern for the creatures of the Mariana Trench. The changing temperatures in the ocean can cause havoc on ecosystems and disrupt the migration patterns of many animals living in this area. Changes in water pressure and oxygen levels also pose a threat to many animals living in the deep sea. In order to protect these creatures and their fragile habitats, we must work to reduce our impact on the environment. We need to be more conscious of our plastic consumption and dispose of our waste properly. We should also strive to reduce ship traffic in sensitive areas to help protect marine life. By working together, we can ensure that the incredible creatures of the Mariana Trench have a healthy home for years to come. If you enjoyed our video, then please like and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to keep getting updates on more such videos. We appreciate you watching the entire video.